What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel and today I wanted to rank the top five best cities inside of Woodencraft because honestly this game is absolutely beautiful. I mean just look around me. We're not even in a city but this place is amazing bro. I just found this like just walking around. I'm like dude this looks awesome. The term city has a bit of a weird meaning in Woodencraft where Wow, okay, everything's deciding to attack me. Now, we can't just say the fact of wherever you're safe is a city. We can't even use the wiki itself. I don't trust the wiki. The wiki says, Happier Lutho, which is one section of a quest that you can't even get to after you're done with the quest. But they don't say that something like, Nisak is a city. And Nisak is definitely a city. Okay? I mean, you have multiple quests here. You have a dungeon in Nisak. There is just no reason why you shouldn't call Nasak a city and you should call something like Happier Luthor a city. So for that reason, I have all the cities listed here in the list with these, what is it, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 added ones. Um, simply because I think that they deserve to be on this list. Um, I don't know if they will win, um, but I will give them the opportunity. I have spent about two or three hours going for every city and it's more about personal preference as well so because it's easy to say that the biggest cities are the best um but i think what i'm gonna go with is just what i think is a more interesting design more impressive maybe what takes more skill um that that sort of thing so i think that's what we're gonna go with and yeah let's just go ahead and get started our top five and uh let's go ahead and go to the first one in our fifth spot Y'all know what it is. We're in the desert. It's Al Muj or Al Muj. I'm not sure. This is the desert city, the desert empire. It is absolutely beautiful. I mean, there is no way you can say that this doesn't deserve to be in top five. Just aesthetically, it's not the biggest city. And there are some like features of it that are not necessarily my favorite. But I mean, man, look at this. It's absolutely beautiful. And the way that they have this bazaar looking place, a bazaar where like they trade... Sh uh, like a lot of tents and shops where you trade for goods very common in the Middle East I mean, this is just absolutely breathtaking man. I mean the architecture alone for these homes are absolutely deserving the builders definitely did justice to the city and it's one of the older ones and it still holds its own it's definitely holding its own i mean just look at that it just deserves its position the bank is here at the top you have these amazing beautiful spires around the side um it definitely earns a spot in the top five it's just beautiful bustling it feels lived in i mean look even here in the in the tr like the heart of the trading center you have your weapon merchant you have your different merchants it's just beautiful this is al Mouj, one of my favorites for sure top five and let's move on to number four our fourth place position has got to be and this is underrated okay super underrated is the Aldere city it is absolutely insane it's not a place that you commonly go to in Windcraft. There's two quests here, and then you're pretty much done. But I want you to check this out. Just the entrance alone. You have these beautiful uh, vines growing up in this amazing cherry blossom tree. I mean, look at this tree. It is absolutely breathtaking. These homes, the way that they're built is very, they're huge, they're complex. These like, it's its insane. It's bamboo actually, I was, I was wrong. It's just amazing. And this isn't even all of it. I mean, this looks amazing in its own right, but there's so much more to this town. And they grow wheat up here. There's a ton of like wheat fields and dude, look at this. What is this? Who, who built this? Let me know who built this. This is amazing. This is just beautiful. Like, I just can't believe that it's just that nice. And then if we go into the city, you've seen this. You agree that it's beautiful, right? Oh, please open. You agree that it's beautiful. And they have this nice tunnel with vines all over it. Honestly, they, they could do better. I know that they can, but it's more for the quest sake that they keep, like, the doors closed and everything. But okay okay all right and now we enter the Aldre valley i mean this is part of the same city like come on this is absolutely insane the building it is just i mean look at this the scale you have 
the tops and the bottoms everything is just so large like it's just beyond life the city is it's just amazing and it's so underused in Windcraft. There's only two quests, and then you're pretty much done. Looking back on it, I, th I might consider this one higher on the list than it currently is, but you let me know. But for now, we're gonna go to number three. Number three, we all definitely have to agree, it's gotta be Corcus City. I mean, we have to get at least something from this place because this is just amazing. You have hot air balloons up in the sky. It's a metal infused city. And I mean, this castle alone just deserves some recognition. Like, let's just enter this castle. This is absolutely insane. Like, look at this place. This is amazing. And again, it's a use of scale. They use a whole different theme. They use a a lot of different like types of building it's not just the same oh it's a castle therefore it's amazing it's also like look at the way in which we built this castle this is very metal very steampunk-esque they but and they have it all so well designed um like everything has rotors on it and that's not even all that there is to this i mean check out the inner city even the inner city, every house is so complex. They have this awesome hall over here. It's all so nice and complex. The gates are amazing. Um, the entrances, the entrance from every direction is one of like it's one of the best. I mean, look at that. Doesn't that just scream beautiful and steampunk? Now, this one of my favorites is this beautiful clock tower. Like, this deserves its spot. Look at that clock tower, the time that is put, the delicate time and effort taken to build this amazing city. I mean, look at this. We're on the upper side of the city now, and like, look at that clock tower. There we were at the bottom where the banner was and, and everything. And I want to show you guys, because this is a very rarely seen thing, because it's not part of any quest, um, but it is very clearly in deliberately there. First of all, they have a beautiful lighthouse over there. I've never even explored that White House. Maybe we should do a video on just exploring certain cities. Let me know what cities you want to be explored. I am down to just like walk around and be mesmerized by it. So literally, just take clips from it and see what happens like look at this i mean you can't really say that this isn't beautiful right the amount of time it takes to make a person like th these are very very hard things to do i don't think people really appreciate the amount of time it takes to build a humanoid type thing like building a house i feel like is so much easier than building one of those but regardless like i said corcus has got to be one of the best cities in the game definitely a strong number three let's go and see what number two is now bear with me some of y'all already know where this is and it is levigar okay levigar is a level 40 city really it's you come here just a little earlier than level 40 and when you enter this for the first time when i entered this for the first time i wish i could gather my reaction um but the doors would open for you why doors right they would be closed and they would open for you and uh, now they just stay open and check out this entrance now this is a statement of an entrance okay they want to show you now the roof has some left to be desired that's why it's not number one but watch this as we enter in look at that that is absolutely insane okay the walls in the city that guard it from the outside so that is actually the exit the city is up here but check out this exit. It's just breathtaking. There is nothing you can say really about the city except for the fact that it's amazing. Look at these villager guardians. The statues are impeccable designed. And this is one of the older cities as well. Came out what, like way before Corcus. Um, let's get into a server where it's still daylight. Give me a second. Okay, now this isn't... I found one in the nighttime. But even in the nighttime man look at this city absolutely beautiful like and it's so complex i was hesitant having a number two but once you actually start going in through the city it gets so complex there's so much to see like you can just get lost walking around in the city 
like for for hours like what is this i don't even think i've been here before alchemism what and then you have levigar university which has a lot of hidden secrets about it i definitely want to do a deep dive into this city specifically because there is so much to learn about the history of windcraft from this city what is going on like where am i when you consider how much there is like man you cannot compare look at this look at this they have like a little dome a little like gazebo looking thing for for the for the item identifier here with the tree growing inside of it and that's part of one of the quests here it's just beautiful and then when you go to the center of the city i mean come on does this not deserve number two? Let me know, please, in chat. If you would rank these five in any way, what order would they be? I really am so curious what people think because this is just my opinion. I think that the use of quartz, like, is just unbelievable here. I mean, look at it. There is no way you can't say that it's in the top five, but I can see you arguing one way or another. I mean, this just... Th this is just beautiful it is one of the most grand banks inside of windcraft it like just really holds its own that was number two let us go and look at number one drum roll please it had to be sinfrost it had to be sinfrost at number one ladies and gentlemen it is Sinfrost, okay? Now look, when you're in the heart of the city, there is not necessarily much to take a look at. Let me actually switch over to uh, daylight so you can fully experience the city in its glory. Okay, here we are. Ouch, that's my ears. Um, but the colors in the city is just something to that cannot be ignored. Let us go to the entrance and just walk in as you would normally do. Now, this is the biggest city in Windcraft, so it's kind of cheating, but it's just, and it's also one of the most recently updated as well. Uh, so it was updated in the 1.19 update. I mean, you, you talk about a, a grand entrance. This reminds me of that one thing in France. I'll put an image up on the screen. Um, I, can't, I can't remember what it's called, but it's just like... It blows even that out of the water. You have an amazing, beautiful entrance. Like, you can see that this is a gigantic city. The colors, the reds uh, of the banners, stray cats everywhere that you can kill for fun. I mean, there's so much to this city. The colors of the streets around here. Like, look how beautiful this is. An information post. Like, like come on, bro. Even my Yeti, Big Bulk Eddie is surprised. And in the center of the city, you have the, the blues, the greens, the dark, uh, like, colors, like, in contrasted with the beautiful yellows, beautiful reds, beautiful blues. This is not, like, the tallest city, but it just uses color, like, in the best way possible. And, like, northeast, southwest, like, it's such a well-created city. And we haven't even seen the best part. Now, some would argue that once you reach this part, you're not part of the city anymore. But I just don't care. It's too beautiful. First of all, they have these amazing gardens here. And like, I mean, I mean, come on. And then the most grand thing, their air base. I mean, what is that, bro? What is this? Like, you, you, like the scale of this city is absolutely enormous. It would take me like hours to fully like go through every aspect of this city because this is called the Sinfrost Air Base, right? Look, Sinfrost Citizen. If he is a Sinfrost Citizen, he lives inside of the Sinfrost City, right? Citizen, city, he lives inside of the city. I mean, look at this. You have a beautiful, beautiful, like you have the verticality. You have everything a part of this. And ladies and gentlemen, we're not even done yet. Look at this. Look at this airship! It's absolutely insane! And I'm curious to see what everyone else says, because there's no way that anyone can disagree that this is not the best city. It is just... It is just amazing. First of all, before we go into the final thing, 
check this out check this view out oh my gosh i'm on the right side of the guild hall you have this amazing river going through and i, I just thought this looks awesome the final thing the final thing is the monument of siegfried or Siegfried. I don't know how to pronounce his name. I am terrible with pronouncing. Let me give you a better view of this. Give me a second. I mean, if you don't think this is one of the most beautiful cities, and we haven't even explored all of it. These lanterns, these lights, I love the design. Like, it's absolutely insane. In the city itself, the colors are so vibrant, and it's so well contrasted with the dark uh, wood and everything. The trees are all custom. Every house is numbered. There's a retired clockmaker who you can talk to. Every house is, has its own story and personality. That is all I have for you guys today. Um, there's a lot of honorable mentions that I hope to get to in the future. Maybe we do the top five worst cities. There is so much to this world. There's so much to explore. I wish we would have gotten a chance to look at Amsord. Jofosh Docks is a beautiful, quaint, like, pirate town. And then the actual pirate town, the pirate cove here, is absolutely beautiful. Um, there's so much to explore. I hope that you guys liked it as much as I did. Me and Big Bulk Eddie here. Gonna leave you at that. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.